A third shot of the coronavirus vaccine has been authorized by the Food and Drug Administration, but this booster is not recommended for just anyone. News for Jack's anchor Tark Miner is joining us now after speaking to a local epidemiologist. And Tark. you know, we're going to start with who does not qualify for this booster shot. If you've had the Johnson & Johnson one-shot vaccine, there's no language in this latest guidance from the FDA addressing J&J &J shot recipients. A local epidemiologist says this is likely because the data on this does not exist. The third shot is recommended for people who have weakened immune systems. I have to really be cautious about you know, going into crowds and who I'm about, who I'm around. Um, every single move I make regarding my life is calculated. 39-year-old Kimberly Cooley had a liver transplant in 2018 and now takes medications to suppress her immune system so her liver isn't rejected. She's one of a small percentage of Americans who have compromised immune systems, qualifying her for a third shot of either the Moderna or Pfizer vaccine. It's just too risky. I mean, with my being a transplant patient, you know, they, they almost lost me once, and I, I don't want to put myself in a position for them to almost lose me again. Cancer patients and other organ transplant recipients are among those on the list to receive the third booster shot. What remains unclear is what recipients of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine can and cannot do. The Johnson & Johnson shot was not mentioned at all in the FDA announcement. Uh, that probably is because uh, they don't have the data that they want to be able to jump to that point. Uh, part of the reason the FDA made this announcement when they did is an article just came out in the New England Journal of Medicine looking at that third booster shot, showing how effective it could be in terms of boosting that immune response. Medical experts say new research reveals antibody levels are increased dramatically when immunocompromised recipients receive the third shot of Pfizer or Moderna. Roughly 9 million Americans qualify for the shot. Epidemiologist Dr. Jonathan Cantor says patients can expect similar side effects to the second dose that they received. That third shot is probably going to be similar to the second shot. So for those who've had a Moderna and a Pfizer vaccine before, it's not going to be like the first shot where you just had a little bit of a sore arm. Uh, you may end up feeling a little bit icky from that. Uh, typically that lasts for a day or less for most people, but it is important to realize that third shot is probably going to give you similar symptoms to the second shot. He also says that third shot is not as bad as COVID. Now, people with HIV, tumors, certain cancers, and other immunodeficiencies all qualify for this third shot. Research shows that these people represent only 2.7% of the United States. It is recommended that you, of course, check with your physician to see if you do qualify.